Hey guys, welcome back for another video. Today we're gonna talk about the new device from RT, the Blackbird. We're gonna talk about some of the functions on the new device and as well we're gonna have a more in-depth video how the device works and performs. And of course we're gonna test it out in the tree. So follow us and let's go! So if we take a closer look on the device here, as we can see it's not that big, I mean you can easily fit in your hand. Uh, you can probably compare it to a Rope Runner Pro or a Rope Runner Vertec in, in size. It's a probably, I think it's even a little bit smaller in that way. Uh, yeah, I mean it's, it's a neat device and it's very, very well designed, which is very cool. Like, I think you've seen already how to open it up, but you easily push that tab here to get the first uh, tab open here, and then you push it one, one more time to get the rest of the device open to get your rope in. Uh, if we look on the top part here, we have a friction cam that you can change the friction. So you have low friction and high friction by just twisting the cam, which is really cool. Like, it, depending on which rope you're using, you can change the friction or if it's wet or dry. That's, yeah, I mean, that's, it's just super convenient. Uh, if we look further down here, we have more friction points. So you have another cam here and another cam here which adds the friction in the device and all those parts and cams in the device you can change out when they start to wear which is really cool like so you can always have your device running in optimal performance which is which is really good i think even you can change you have like a metal plate in here that you can change where the ro uh, the rope rubs against so i think you can change that as well uh, yeah otherwise i mean it's just a very cool design on a device like this super simple to get it on and off close it up yeah if we look on the top here if you're using in a srs configuration uh, the top cam here engages so you add another friction point on the device which makes it work for srs which is really cool uh, and then uh, as well when you're using it mrs the carabiner locks the top friction cam down so then it's similar to a spider jack or yeah or a lock jack in that way which is really cool uh, you have as well the the bearing uh, on top here so this rope runs very smooth but yeah let's test it out in the tree and see what you can do so at the moment here we have a rope that's installed in a top tie configuration uh, the rope we're running is 11.5 millimeter. Uh, on the Blackbird, you get inside the box, you get a, a different uh, friction uh, clutch that you can change. So if you want to run thicker ropes than 11.9, you need to change that. But that's really cool. So you can change it so you can run thicker ropes, right? Uh, as we've seen before, you just push that bottom in to open up the first tab to open up the rest of the device. Uh, in this case here, I want to run low friction because that works really good on this, this rope. So by just pushing in the rope, it's quite easy. You need a little bit of tension in the rope to get it in like so. So then you use forward orientation of the rope inside the device here. And that's really nice. Just push everything together like so. Nice. Now we're ready to go, right? First impression, like it feels nice in your hand, yeah. Easy to pull out slack, easy to tend slack. Minimal friction, right? So let's just test it out. You can see here straight away the top bollard or top friction bollard engages when we're using it in a SRS configuration, right? Uh, friction wise, very nice control. Like it's minimal, minimal uh, force to, to make it actually like uh, descent. So, cool. So let's get up the tree and test it out. 
So you have an attachment point for this chest harness up here, which you can use. I like to use to clip it into the ring so I get the device a little bit lower when I'm going up the tree. So let's go up. It, like, it feels really smooth going up. Minimal friction, which is nice. So let's test it out in a SRS configuration. It's very, very smooth. Works very nice. Let's do a mechanical system. If I want to do, for example, a limb work, I want to have it a little bit easier to go back where I'm at. So, in this case, I'm using just a ring to begin with. And I'm just choking it off, like so. And then I put a bite through the ring, like so. You can make this retrievable as well if you want to. And then we take a pencil roll clip to get it into the top of the board or top of the device here to create the mechanical system. Load it, feels good. And we see this works very nice as well. Let's pull a little bit more slack over, like so. And then we have suddenly a mechanical system. And that keeps the device up. You can even do, if you pull, because it's self-tending device almost, you just pull over a little slack so you get some weight of it. And then it's even easier to pull up the slack and yourself, which is very nice. Cool. To create the mechanical system, this works very well. So let's move up and swap it over to uh, MRS system. So now we're running it in uh, MRS uh, configuration. You can see clearly it locks down the top friction part of the device in our MRS mode, which is cool. Uh, it, it's similar to a spider jack or lock jack. And as well, it's self-tending when you have a little bit weight of the rope under the device, which is cool. Uh, in this case, I'm running a, a cambium saver, but uh, in, uh, if, you get, if you want to get the most out of the device, you should run a pulley saver with less friction. But either way, it works really good. It's very, very, very smooth. Even if I'm running it on two rings. And as well, you can feed the slack through the device with just a little bit of weight in the rope, which is nice. And instantly it locks. Super cool. Cool. So it's really convenient that you can use it both in SRS and MRS configuration. So depending on how you work, you can isolate your anchor point, go up, do a couple of branches, go all the way up to the top to change over to for MRS, which is, I mean, really cool. So this was the Blackbird from RRT. Uh, it's a very cool and well thought out design of a device. Uh, I mean, it can handle both SRS and MRS with ease, which is, I mean, it's just super nice that a device can handle both things with so good precision. 
so and as well you can change out the spare like the clutches when they start to wear out so you can always have your device running at optimal performance which is very very nice uh, so if you guys want to check this blackbird out hit the link below and uh, it's gonna get you straight onto the home page and uh, you can see it there uh, for yourself uh, i hope you guys liked the video don't forget to hit the like button subscribe button and stay tuned for the next video see you guys